If you're trying to figure out the best web hosting pick for 2026, you're probably seeing a lot of mixed opinions online. Some people swear by one platform, others say the opposite. And most reviews don't really explain why a certain host is the better choice for everyday users. So, instead of ranking every provider on the planet, I want to share my honest hosting recommendation based on real-world use, pricing, performance, and how easy it is for beginners to get started. For most people building a blog, small business site, or a basic online store, Hostinger stands out as the best hosting choice right now. The main reason is value. Hostinger offers solid performance at a much lower cost than many traditional hosting companies. You're getting fast load times, decent uptime, and modern tools without paying premium prices. For beginners especially, that combination matters a lot. Speed is another big factor. Reliable web hosting isn't just about keeping your site online. It's also about how quickly pages load. Hosting your servers are optimized for performance, which helps websites feel smoother and more responsive, even on basic plans. That's important for both visitors and search engines. Ease of use is where Hostinger really shines. The dashboard is clean, simple, and not overloaded with confusing options. You can set up a website, install WordPress, manage domains, and handle basic settings without feeling overwhelmed. If you're new to hosting, that makes the learning curve much less stressful. Hostinger also includes useful features like free SSL, email accounts, website backups, and built-in security tools. These are things you'd often pay extra for with other providers. Having them included helps keep your setup simple and your costs predictable. Now, to be fair, Hostinger isn't perfect. Customer support is generally helpful, but it's mostly chat-based. If you prefer phone support, some other hosts may suit you better. Response times can vary depending on how busy support is, so it's not always instant. Another trade-off is that the lowest prices usually require a longer-term plan. If you only want hosting for a few months, you won't see the same savings as someone committing for a longer period. That's common across the industry, but it's still worth understanding up front. Advanced developers might also want more customization options than what Hostinger's beginner-focused tools provide. For most users, that won't matter, but power users may prefer more complex setups. Still, when you look at the full picture, price, performance, ease of use, and included features, Hostinger offers one of the strongest overall experiences in 2026. It's especially good for bloggers, small business owners, freelancers, and anyone launching their first website. You don't need technical skills to get started, and you're not locked into expensive plans just to get decent performance. So if someone asked me for my personal best web hosting pick this year, Hostinger would be my answer. Not because it's perfect, but because it strikes the best balance between affordability, reliability, and simplicity. You get fast servers, beginner-friendly tools, and solid features without paying premium prices. And for most websites, that's exactly what matters. If you want to see current pricing and details for the hosts I mentioned, the links are in the pinned comment and the description. Hopefully this gives you a clearer, more realistic picture of what actually makes a good hosting choice, without the hype or overcomplicated comparisons.